Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be introducing a significant book, Wisdom for the End, A Life Lived in Reverse. This profound work is by Dr. Jordan Grumet, a palliative care doctor. Because of his work, at the end of life, Dr. Grumet witnessed firsthand the regrets and reflections of countless people at the end of their lives. Often, they realized what their true desires and dreams were only when their lives were about to end, which was tragically too late. Dr. Grumet believes that the reason people leave regrets in their lives is largely due to their lack of clear life direction. Most people drift along, swayed by societal values and external expectations, without considering their actual desires for life. The author of the book tells the story of a successful entrepreneur named John who worked hard all his life and went from a small clerk to the CEO of a large corporation. He had the wealth and power that many people dream of, but he was not happy. At the end of his life, John looked back at his life and found that he had missed many essential things. He did not attend his son's graduation, did not accompany his wife through important anniversaries, and did not travel with friends. John realized that money and power could not buy true happiness. True happiness comes from family, friends, and love. He also tells the story of a doctor named Mary who dreamed of becoming a doctor since she was a child. She studied hard, got into medical school, and became an excellent doctor. However, after working for a few years, Mary found that she did not like the job. She found it arduous and stressful. She began to question whether she was indeed suitable to be a doctor. At the end of her life, Mary realized that she should choose a career that she truly loves. She regretted not bravely following her dreams when she was young. To help people avoid regrets in life, Dr. Grumet advocates a beginning with end philosophy of life. The core of this thinking is that we need to clearly define our life's desires first and then make every choice and action around these desires. The beginning with the end mindset can propel people toward more successful and happier lives in the following ways. Make better career choices. If you dream of becoming a doctor, choosing to study at a medical school would be a goal-aligned choice. This can prevent wasting time on unsuitable career paths. Build stronger relationships. If you desire a happy family, you should find a better half with similar interests to build a home. This can help you establish more lasting and stable relationships. Live a more meaningful life, if you hope to contribute your strengths to the world. Participating in volunteer services or starting a charitable organization will make your life more meaningful and fulfilling. For implementing the wisdom of living with the end in mind, Dr. Grumet suggests the following steps. Identify your ultimate goals. This is the most critical step. Take time to contemplate your life's desires and note them down somewhere easily visible to remind yourself. Make decisions and actions towards your goals. Before making any significant decisions, ask yourself whether it fits your ultimate goals. If not, reconsider your choices. Regularly review your goals. People's goals can change over time. Therefore, it is necessary to regularly review goals and confirm whether they still fit your needs. Reading Living Brilliant and Life Planning with the End in Mind can inspire us. There should be no box for life. Everyone has their own dreams and goals. We should not blindly follow others, but must have the courage to follow our own path. Do not postpone happiness to the future. Happiness is a choice. We can choose to live brilliantly right now live in the present and cherish every moment life is uncertain so we should cherish every moment and live our most brilliant selves